is Fox 6 News. After months of rallies and fundraisers and seemingly endless robocalls, and yes, those political ads too, the 2012 presidential race is now in the history books. We have picked ourselves up. We have fought our way back. And we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. Good evening to you. Our big story on Fox 6 News at 5, you decided. After months of contentious campaigning, the American people render the final judgment four more years of President Barack Obama. So the focus now shifts to the challenges ahead, and there are many. Our Mike Lowe is back from the president's election headquarters with a look at how a second Obama term will start. And good evening, Ted and Mary. The balance of power in Washington is the same as it was before the election, but the president returns to the White House with a decisive victory and a vote of confidence from the American people. As President Obama returns to the White House, he returns to a political landscape largely unchanged. It is a generalization that Americans are feeling safe if there's split government, if there's divided government. UWM professor Mordecai Lee says the president's re-election essentially ratified the status quo. We have to watch what's going to be going on in Washington. Is this going to be, because the election changed nothing, the same as for the last two years? Is it going to be people just sort of throwing hand grenades over a wall? On election night, both Mitt Romney and President Obama called for the parties to work together. We remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are and forever will be the United States of America. The nation, as you know, is at a critical point. At a time like this, we can't risk partisan bickering and political posturing. But the 51-year-old president now faces the challenge of governing a deeply divided country. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Harry Reid. I want to work together, but I, I want everyone to also understand you can't push us around. Speaker of the House John Boehner made it clear on election night he views the Republican victory in the House as a mandate, too. You know, for two years, uh, our House majority has been the primary line of defense for the American people against a government that spends too much, taxes too much, uh, certainly borrows too much. The vote was essentially an electoral stamp of approval on the president's health care reform law, which will now be fully implemented in 2014. In a second term, the president may seek a sweeping overhaul of the nation's immigration policies, but first, he'll have to deal with the looming fiscal cliff, which would trigger tax increases and across-the-board spending cuts. I believe we can seize this future together because we are not as divided as our politics suggests. And it has been reported that after his election night speech, President Obama tried to reach out to congressional Republicans to discuss the fiscal cliff, but they were asleep, continuing the trend of the, quote, failure to communicate between the two parties. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News. Maybe a good night or a good couple weeks rest will do everybody some good. We'll have to see about that, Mike. Thanks. Indeed. Yep. Well, Wisconsin made history last night. They sent Democrat Tammy Baldwin to the U.S. Senate. Historical, because she's the first openly gay person.